Hello everybody, this is Solar Tiger with another solar shed video and today I've been working in the solar shed as you can see the workbench is full up I've had the wire pile out as well and I've been using the soldering iron I have put the barbecue on the work table just to make more floor space but I have upgraded some more of my solar power system uh, the main upgrade I'll show you I'm just going to pause the music system right as you can see now there's a battery box down here and I have upgraded the battery that I was using I was using a 20 amp hour battery before that was up here but when I was running the water pump, which draws the best part of 5 amps, it caused the battery voltage to drop to 11.8 volts, which was a bit low, so I thought maybe the load was a bit too much and that I needed a bigger battery. So I built a battery box. There's a cover for it to stop anything falling in and causing a short circuit. So. In this box is a 100 amp hour deep cycle battery with a 10 amp fuse in line and this is 20 amp cable and it comes up to the panel and it goes to the Sunsaver MPPT which is a 15 amp controller so a 15 amp controller on 20 amp wire is fine you can see that the current battery voltage is 13.25 volts and from the watt meter we're bringing in 1.8 watts though so if I come on with this it shows the charging current as zero so we've got the load is on the temperature is 23 degrees Celsius so it's a bit cooler now not like during the week when it was mega hot. The solar panel voltage is 15.18 volts. I've got just the one 50 watt panel on the roof. It's a 17.2 volt panel. An MPPT controller works better with more than one panel as it down converts the voltage to that necessary to charge the battery and increases the current. So to use that to maximize, maximize that effect, you need at least two solar panels in series. So, also, I have also been busy. Now, you probably can't see here, but there's an extra fuse here that's connected to the mystery circuit. And I have bought a light, and I have wired it. The light is thick cable at the top there that goes over here to a junction box which feeds a light switch down here and outside I bought a 10 watt LED flood lamp from eBay and it cost £4 10 watt LED flood light for £4 um, and it's all wired up now to illuminate the space outside the shed door and if I turn on the light switch you can see the light is very bright and it works fine so this is Solar Tiger with an update video from the solar shed so I'd like to thank you for watching and for the 42 subscribers that I have on my channel. So until next time, this is Solar Tiger saying thank you for watching. Thank you.